Greetings and welcome back to the workshop. I hope you're all doing absolutely amazing. It's fantastic to have you here with us in the workshop. Now, I believe you want a steam engine video. Let's make one then. So if my memory serves me correct, in the last videos for the steam engine, we made the uh, valve and the valve buckle, which have been sat very nicely behaving themselves on the side. Now the cylinders on the other hand, they've been sat around gathering dust and getting damp and um, we're getting signs of a little bit of surface rust which is definitely not good because rust can be very problematic. But we're alright, it's very very light surface rust. So we're going to need to get a bit of protection on these cylinders but it's alright, I've bought some high temperature paint because I'm going to paint the cylinders in high temperature paint but there's a few little bits and pieces to do on the cylinders before we get there. So one thing that I didn't do with the cylinders, well the cylinder end caps it is, is I didn't put the hole for the slide bar. Big fail really. Um, so I need to get that in. That's a job I definitely need to get in. We also need to do all the gaskets that need to go in. So we need a gasket at this end, we need a gasket here, here, and then one at the back. So we need the gaskets to be done. If you recall, when we did the front cylinders, the drawing showed a hole in the end, which has a 8th inch BSP thread, which I didn't put in. And I finally found what it was for. Put a little bit of oil in when the steam engine's not running. You take the plug out, Squirt a bit of oil in, move the cylinder backwards and forwards, and it gives a, a nice coating inside. Although I don't know what you're supposed to do at this end. And one last thing that we need to do before the cylinders can um, get painted is we need to make a plate to cover, cover up down here. The cylinder cover plate, or the cylinder... What even is it? It's the bit that's going to have coloured paint on at the end. If you recall when I did the cylinder end cover, on my setup, I actually machined a bit of a flat on the bottom and I'm hoping that we can use that flat because that flat is parallel to this top one. So I'm hoping that we can set this up in the vise on some uh, parallels like so. These are slightly above the vise jaw and hopefully we can grip it in there now we'll see hopefully this is going to work right so we've got this set up here i've just this is exactly as we've put it in uh, i've zeroed this corner here if you see there we are it's zeroed so we'll just run across and i'll show you how far out it is which that is saying three and a half thou, which is tiny. But I think we can just tap it that way and get it a bit closer. And then in the middle here, set that to zero, and then front to back, It's saying we're probably two thou out. But as this is just for a hole to bolt a bar on, I think it's going to be close enough. I'll get the three and a half, three and a half closer. But in the grand scheme of things, it, 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 it's for a bolt to hold the bar on, to hold a slide bar on like that. So the hole in this is going to be slightly, probably slightly bigger than the thread. So that'll be fine. That'll be fine, that. As long as it's in the centre. Right, no. Yeah, it's got to be in the centre of there and there. Across there. So, I'll get that three and a half thou closer. I'll get it I'll get it as close as I can that way. Don't make no difference that way. <laughs> right, so literally, I just tap this with, the, uh, with this. And, uh, Yeah, I think I'm happy with that. <laughs> I 
just thought I was filming. So I just filmed me setting this up, or thinking I've just filmed me setting this up for you. I didn't press record. I went off the edge here and here, find the center this way. And then I touched off on this front face, moved the wobbler or the dimension half of the wobbler over. So we are zeroed off this very front face here and down the very center. So we're half inch back from this front, which is what the drawing says. And we are halfway between there. Looks good to me, let's go for it. Watch how far down we can go. Yeah. Right. We'll set up for a 6.8 M8 thread. Right, so we got the 6.8 in. The drawing's telling me to go down 0.56. So once the corners start hitting into there, then we'll zero the DRO and we'll do it all on the DRO. Zero the DRO and we'll go in 0.56. Four, five, 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 three, five, four, five, 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 six. You know, cast is absolutely lovely to work with, but it's the most messiest product there is, and it's so damaging towards machines. Right, so that's those two done with the M8 hole in, perfectly in the centre of that hole, because that hole was found using the outside edge in the uh, cylinder end cover video.
And there we go. So I've got to put in an eighth inch BSP thread in the end of it. I need a 1132 or a 8.8 or 8.7 mil drill. And I don't have any of those. It's like I'm nipping out quickly. Now, although this is strictly not a Christmas episode, at the time of release, if I've got it right, this should be coming out before Christmas, if I ever finish the video. I would just like to wish you all a very Merry Christmas. I hope you uh, have a great time and enjoy yourselves. A few drinks, a bit of food, but most importantly, I hope you get a bit of time in your workshops to spend doing the projects that you enjoy. Now, if you want to help me at Christmas, then you could make sure that you've clicked that subscribe button and the notification bell, and you'll be notified when we next release a video. And don't forget to hit the like button. That would really be appreciated, and that will help this video, as with all my others, spread around to like-minded folk who are interested in lots of fantastic engineering. But if you want to go that extra mile, then if you click on my website, which the link is in the description box below and in my bio, maybe you could see it in your heart to give me a little uh, donation to help the channel, help it grow, expand a bit bigger, because any donation that I do get, and a big thank you to those that already have, goes back on the channel. It goes all back into the channel. And with that, let's crack on. Right, got some. I get all my drills from a company called Ashcrofts, which is local to me. It's like an engineering merchant. I've got an 1132 to do this job. And I got myself a 2964, which is for a quarter inch BSP. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep these in my BSP drawer, where I have all my BSP stuff and I bought I had to buy the, the pair because uh, there's a minimum order of a fiver well that's five pounds to uh, you non-British people let's carry on We are through. There we are. All right, clean that dust up. Just trying to keep on top of this. Keep on top of the uh, cast dust so it doesn't go all over the machine. our spring loaded device because this BSP has a hole in the end and away we go One threaded hole. Now what I'm going to do is, because I want to paint these, I need to make the gaskets that go between the cylinder covers and the cylinders. And for that, I've bought some gasket material, which is grey on one side and some lovely sicky coloured green on the other. This is Klingersil C4324, which is the right stuff for steam engines. And it's 0.4 of a mil apparently. So I'm gonna make four 
gaskets using these as they are now to mark out on here looks like I'm gonna get probably three that's a shame oh might get might get four not sure uh, so yeah I'm gonna get some of these made any offcuts that you get when once you make this stuff keep hold of it because it could come in handy for some small gaskets on smaller bits here and there so never chuck it away because it's quite expensive stuff off the top of my head because I've had it a while now I bought that on eBay I will try and find the link and put it in the description for you like with anything on this channel if you uh, do want to know where I've bought things or got things from or acquired them just uh, put it in the comments and uh, I'll, I'll reply to it And eventually you'll end up with four gaskets which I will admit I've opened up these holes a bit bigger uh, they were just too tight to go on these nuts here but now they go on they drop on perfectly and the cover there we are, will uh, fit on like so there we are it's on there's a little bit more to do on the cylinders before I can put some paint on but we are heading in the right direction which is a big thumbs up because I really like to get these cylinders bolted onto the steam engine frames I know we've got like the piston to do and the valve rods the slide bars the cross head but I think getting them bolted onto the steam engine will spur me on a bit and the fact that if it's painted I know it's not going to rust especially if I spray inside with a bit of oil as well Inside's going to stay uh, quite nice. I'm happy with that bit of progress we've made today. Right, with that, I'll see you in the next episode. And it'll be another steam engine video. Laters. Yeah, every little step. <laughs>